Hello friends and welcome back to Owani Gaming. In the last part of Life is Strange Before the Storm, we actually finished episode one and we're getting ready to start episode two now. And I just, I'm so glad I showed this beginning screen because I didn't know if it would change or not. And look at that. Like, so obviously at the end of the last episode, Rachel burned the picture of her father because he's cheating on her mom and it angered her so much that she ended up starting a huge forest fire and honestly i'm still sticking to this fact that i think that she has something supernatural about her because that scream just like it fanned the flames of the fire and it just made it huge and look at it now so i'm ready to see what happens next let's go previously on life is strange before the storm i can't believe the fire lock is playing a show at the old mill I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Still love Rachel's hair. For my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, black cow. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Music. It's just so great. It gives chills. Oh no. Trespassing. Drug use. Something I didn't see the rest of it. There's that raven again. Do not trust. Rachel. So we're in trouble with Rachel then, I guess. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then we're just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? <laughs> Is that rhetorical? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Uh, well. Victoria Chase. Oh, shit. <laughs> she cheated. I mean, she did. She got the answer from us. If she hadn't cheated, it wouldn't have been... Academic goals, like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero-tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Oh, shit. Now, hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? 
The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. I'm sure. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's <sighs> behalf. Oh my God. <laughs> and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. Bullshit. She helped him out. She stood up for him. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of Ask events. Ask Samantha. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. Oh. It will be handled separately. Why? And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? Yeah. I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Yeah. Ooh. Calm Wells or reassure mom. Calm Wells. See what happens. Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. Oh, fuck off. May I off. continue? With your permission? Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I need to do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See? no. Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? <laughs> We're gonna go with it right yeah. now. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Right? Miss Price. <sighs> Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Oh, Are you sure what you've told me shit. is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Get him, Joyce. list of students you assume the worst about. Get him. Go with her honor, enjoy the, sh enjoy the show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. 
That's good. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh no. No. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Oh, fuck no. How fitting. Yeah. Yes. She I'm should sure be in trouble. Victoria Chase will do no. fine. She should be in trouble. She plagiarized. Is what such... was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Hmm. Oh, no. I want to go along with Rachel, but I don't want Rachel to get in trouble. I mean, obviously, she did ask us to leave, but... <sighs> I don't want Victoria Chase to get the lead. When we already know Chloe gets, Chloe gets kicked out. Shit. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. To succeed in backtalk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. I mean, we already know this. Why are they doing this again? Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Maybe a reminder. <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Oh my god, accept reality. You were unaccepted. If it cracks. Accept reality, that's what we're going with. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess she can act. Yeah. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Oh, Chloe. Chloe, this can't be you. <laughs> Apologize this instant. Oh. I regret bullying Nathan. Sorry for making you... You shouldn't have dragged Rachel into it. Oh, no. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> you will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price. I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. Bullshit. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. Okay. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Well, I wonder what would have happened if we would have let them believe that Rachel actually coerced Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. 
I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. <laughs> hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Let's see, there's the picture of Bongo. We're taking that one. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. I hated chemistry. All right, the pencil case. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Are we not taking that? Is that a horse smoking a joint? Wonder who will grace this space after me. Sign your name. I was wondering if Max had the same um, locker as Chloe, but I don't think so. Almost. <laughs> yeah, so we, I'm pretty sure Chloe, or Max is locker was blue and obviously we would have seen her signature maybe chem was the class i hated the least hmm if chloe leaves blackwell at 11 a.m going 100 miles per hour how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? <laughs> All those pictures on the door of her locker. Like she had the picture of Bongo. Fuck this planet. What does that say? I have no idea what that says. And then there's a pirate, a raven, anarchy. A whale smoking a joint. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Why doesn't she just add to it? Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Okay, we'll trash that. Where's her secret stash at? Fully free, it starts with me. Finally, what I actually came here for. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? What is it? Damn it, Justin. <laughs> Chloe, hey, I had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know, I promise. I'll get you back next week, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. 
but with Skip watching me. <laughs> uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay, but try to make it fast, will you? Are you in any rush, Skip? All right, so we're going to tag the place up here. Now, I'm pretty sure she ends up standing on these things, but insubordinate. Well, I don't know what that just said on the wall over there. They did a good job of cleaning this all up, though. Who is that supposed to be, Max? Probably not, but very nice. <laughs> Women take forever to get ready. David. Damn, she she draws quickly. There's the glass that needs to be broken in the first one. Ah, uh, here we go, deck nine. And I didn't so so don't nod did Life Strange 1 and Life Strange 2. And deck nine did this one and true colors. I think they're like taking over the Life of Strange series from now on. I'm not entirely sure. Episode 2, Brave New World. Oh, she is tagging the whole place. Or maybe that's supposed to be Steph. I don't know. Elf Barbarian, Steph and Mike. That's awesome. Oh, shit. Huh. Don't you say shit? She's going to. Little narc. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, David's here too. Oh damn, look at that. That's creepy. Is that Elliot? Drug-free zone, if you only knew. Later, Skip. Later. I wonder why Skip's not part of the security anymore. Because we obviously didn't see him in the first game. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Great. There we go. <clears throat> wow. Made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet. You were born to be a spy, jumping out of trains and shit. Oh man, we'd make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Ha ha. Meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. LOL. Today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah. You know what doesn't suck? What? You. You also don't suck. I know. We should probably sleep. Got wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Wells blows, that meaning hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Oh, shit. Where did we leave off at? There we go. Okay. Chloe, did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, are you okay? Chloe, please. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe? Really? Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I am trying my best. Poor Joyce. Elliot. Talk later. Okay. Holy shit. Did you get Wells' text about fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, want me to send you the chem homework? A, B, F, W. What's that? Oh, Arcadia Bay Firewatch Alert, maybe? Fire weather. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Fire Watch, Forest Watch, Fire Weather. Who knows? Active Class D wildfire not contained. Use caution. Check social media for road closures. Members of the Blackwell community, please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. 
I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. Oh, we got Another letter to Max that I'll never send. At least journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. And that was something. So Joyce had said in the meeting that she's had a rough two years. So it's been two years since her father died. And when Max shows up, it's been five years since that happened. So there's three years between now and when Max shows up. So I feel like... Chloe and Rachel have, you know, almost, almost, well, two and a half years of time together because it has been six months when Max shows up that Rachel's been gone. Okay, I'm going to read this real quick. Max, when did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I asked because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've had it. It's bye-bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, we're going to leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know. Crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy, too. In not unrelated news, I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically. That's how you make an exit, woman. Chloe, the exit wound her. Oh wait, did I not read that one? I didn't read this one or that one. Okay. Max, with all the Shakespeare shit going on, I thought I'd write you a sonnet. Then I realized that rhyming is hard and nothing really rhymes with Rachel, which seems fitting given that I've never actually met anyone like Rachel before. With Rachel, everything is a game of some kind. I had to use my breaking and entering skills to get this viewfinder working just so we could spy on peeps at the park. Rachel was hilarious, making up dialogue for them, and I actually held my own, mocking some tight shorts wearing Speedwalker. After we watched some old couple suck face, Rachel decided it was high time we unsobered ourselves. So we hatched a plan to steal wine from these yuppie picnickers. And since it's Rachel, the plan involved elaborate acting and more improv on my part. I killed it, once again. I'd still never be caught dead on stage, but this type of acting I can get behind. Our hard-earned wine in tow, we journeyed forth in search of more fun and games. Chloe the unsober. Max, ugh. I don't even know. I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe blows this and goes back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life. The next moment I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her like some dork asking the head cheerleader to the prom. And she blew me off. Because of course she did. But wait, that's not all. Because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dead dad's fucking car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smashed it up, obviously. And then I passed out and had a dream where my where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me. How was your day? Chloe, the twisted, shattered, and ugly. Man, she had a lot of time to write all this. <laughs> she wrote multiple times yesterday. Okay, let's check this stuff out. Max would have loved this shit. Special thanks to Caroline Prescott. Alright, so they're over there. We're gonna, like, just make a little trip around here. Moped. We're gonna also check out Nikola Tesla. We're gonna check out all the, uh, license plates. Because, yeah, I just like doing that. Three guesses whose bike this is. And they all start with Miss Grant. Yeah, Darwin is my homeboy. Yeah. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. <laughs> Science doesn't care what you believe. Is that Wells car? Aham. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Oh, I'm sure. Golden. Not golden. Holden C. I don't know what that means. T. Sawyer. 
Tom Sawyer. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. I know they're Bigfoots, but that's creepy. Stage hands, professional stage equipment specialists. So, drug free zone. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. Right? Thelma. Like Thelma and Louise, I guess. Alright, so here is the first bit of graffiti in this episode. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? <laughs> Anarchy or pot? Everybody wants to have a good time, right? Nice. Man, she is quick at drawing. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. Okay, and Elliot... Oh, there he is. Katniss. Like Katniss Everdeen, The Hunger Games. Jim Stark. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. My other vehicle is drama. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> <laughs> that Lady Byron? Life is a stage. Life is strange. Kind of looks like the writing for the first one. Hmm. This has got to be Skip's car. Piss head much? Yeah. That has to be Skip's car. Deadbeat babies, ear cheese, crusty rim, ghouls and girls, sneaky dong, Satan's baby mamas, <laughs> lung butter, feline fister, bone kick. Damn. Okay, let's go talk to Elliot. Fire safety flyer. Sounds like he's playing a game. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Gotta be highly aware of that stuff in the Pacific Northwest, I guess. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. I I'm surprised it took this long, too. <laughs> Do you want a hug? Oh, God. <laughs> no, thank you. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right, yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I figured I'd see the Tempest anyway. I was going to text you, actually. I got two tickets in case you changed your mind. Oh, thanks, I guess. Yeah? So you in? Might help you take your mind off things. Uh, why not? We'll see Rachel. Yes, I might as well. I should see what I got myself expelled for. Sweet. Glad I got the extra ticket. I better go. My mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Why is he just leaning on his car, just hanging out? All right, let's go accept our punishment. About damn time. David, please. Yeah, shut the hell up, man. You are not my father. Chloe. 
Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Mm hmm. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Oh shit. Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Uh, we love you, Joyce, so we're gonna do it. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I don't feel like Joyce really feels the same way. I feel like David's pushing her. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and comply. We have nothing on us that would cause them to think that she's abusing drugs or alcohol currently. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Got the same panda keychain. <laughs> You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. 
One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Oh, shit. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck-up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Shit. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. I feel like it's not stable currently. I mean... There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up? when your whole life has been turned upside down. Weird looking at everything upside down like that. It's how she feels though. She's gonna be smashy. Can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? No smashy? No. Oh. Maybe some smashy? Anbani? Anbani? I'm not sure what that's supposed to say. That ah, looks a little rough. Ugh. Wow. Definitely needs a new battery. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Okay. Wonder if I can find one around here.
Max, you ever hated someone's guts but then later felt bad because you found out they were actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got it inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which meant demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it, but just to make him look like an idiot in front of Mom, since I wasn't holding. I guess it backfired, because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house, because if he's there, I sure as shit am not. Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. Chloe, bane of fascist. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, and then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Alright, so we can view our objective. Get battery, put in truck. Alright. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... awesome. Alright, so... There's the truck. No, not going over there. I can't say I blame her. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. <laughs> okay. So, there's another piece of graffiti we have to actually try to climb this boat to get. Hmm. I did say try. <laughs> Damn, you cigarettes. Yeah, okay, so we can't climb. Not without this, apparently. All right, so now we climb. We should be good to go now. Wow. Shit. Pretty rough. Okay. So here is what we graffiti. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Very treasure burial ground. Oh. Fuck. Like, I want to say buried treasure, but the burial grounds is so... Mmm. Because we all know Rachel ends up in here anyway. Oh. Got it. It's very foretelling. Rip Captain Bluebeard, 94 to 2010. Okay, how do we get out of here? Oh, there we go. Need to climb down. All right, so now we gotta find that battery. Um, where the hell's the battery gonna be? I mean, it's not gonna be in here, but let's open it up. Oh. We'll take him. He is in her truck. In the first move or first game. That's the first movie. Hmm. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. Okay. So we must we already looked at the mannequin head. I guess that's the way to leave. I wonder if we can check all the places out. 
that we could win the first game with Max. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? What does it say? Building for lease? Yeah, looks like it did shut down. Make it a great day. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> You're a long way from the beach. Probably pretty gross after sitting out here for so long. Did I see something else? Yeah. A light bulb. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Hmm. Oh, gross. Here's the side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Here we go. Let's see. This thing looks pretty old and rusted, though, so I highly doubt it. Ooh, yeah, it looks rough. This not gonna work. work. Nope. Well, I'd say that truck looks like it's a pretty good spot to find something. Or a battery. I used to love opening up the diner with Mom before school. Oh, I guess those days are now officially over. William Wallace, maybe? Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Open it up. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? A battery? Okay, so we see the battery there. Or not the battery. <laughs> the latch. Gotta have a battery, right? Yes, and it looks good. I wonder if her dad taught her about Here vehicles. We go. The pick of the litter. <laughs> Where'd the battery go? Just shove that big ass thing in her pocket? Alright. You know they're heavy as shit too, so. Alright, let's put that into the battery tray. Careful, Chloe. We don't need you getting shocked. There's no way that's gonna take care of it. This thing looks old, rusty, and like it's been sitting here for years. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Okay. Rachel. Chloe Price. I don't suck? You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Singing man. Okay. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. <laughs> All right, broken bulb. Okay, so we know where the light bulb is. Leave, not yet. Hang on, what else do we need? Rusted floorboard, torn seat, so. Um, 
Yeah, so we know everything we need. A bulb, something to cover the seat, and something for the floorboard. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. <laughs> probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. And that light bulb looked red. That would be cool. Alright, let's go get everything we need to spruce this thing up. Now, where was okay. everything? Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. I'm pretty sure everything was just over here, because there's... Oh. The towel? Perfect. This could cover that torn seat. And look awesome doing it. Probably needs to be washed, though. Alright. Cool towel. Now the light bulb is right there. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. It's worth a shot. And our only option, so. Alright, and then... Cover the floor that mat over here. There it is. Oh. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. Can I school. not take it? No? I guess those days are now officially over. Okay. I just noticed those seats were cut. I guess if it was a drug bust, maybe they were cutting the seats to see if stuff was stashed in there? All right, so let's put this stuff down. Fix the torn seat. Okay, so that doesn't look as faded as I thought it did. Broken bulb. There we go. Okay, so the only thing we have left to do is the, the floor mat, or the floorboard. I swear it was that mat that we have to use. Try this one more time. Maybe we can only carry two things at a time? It seems kind of weird, but... Alright. There it is, okay. Why can't I pick it up? Okay, there's something else then, I guess. Oh, here we go. Ah. You think she'd want, like... You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. Yeah, you would think she'd rather take the Two Whales Diner one, because that's where Mom works, but also she... might not be as happy with her mom, so this is fine welcoming floor mat. I wonder though. Hang on. Because I didn't go any farther over here before. We can go over here. Where their hangout is. The radio. Well, so I'll turn it on just for me to put in some more music. Oh. Another song by Pisshead. But you don't get to hear it. Pirate flag. Ooh. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could have used that to cover the seat. I mean, it's too late now. That would have been freaking cool, though. No. Fire poker? <laughs> I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Fires, fires, fires. Okay. Christmas lights. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, there's a rug here, but we could use that this one too. This rug has some miles on it. Oh, so we just went kind of in a big loop here, didn't we? There's the back of the truck. There's a beer bottle. Oh god, bottles again. So many empty bottles and not a single beer. 
Thanks, Junkyard. Yeah, see, because there's another one. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. I'm gonna have to apologize. My dog is in the background snoring. I don't know if you'll be able to hear him or not, but he snores pretty loud. Little guy. Okay. Uh, do we have to go all the way around? No. Sweet. Okay, so now we should be done fixing the truck. Floorboard. Can we... Yeah, no, we can't change the beach towel. The beach towel's cool, but man, that pirate flag would have been so awesome. Oh well. So are we done then? Is that all we needed to do to fix the truck? Very nice. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Yeah. Probably drives like one, too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Getting a call? Is it Rachel? Yeah? Frank. It's Frank. Oh. oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. <laughs> We've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, uh, like... Drugs? Chloe. Frank. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank... I'm not in trouble or anything, right? Uh, I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Okay. I'm actually going to have to stop it there. This has been quite a long recording. So we'll just start back off with Chloe here having her smoke break in the car in the next part. Another good start to uh, episode two here. I don't remember what the name of episode two was, but that's all right. Um... Brave New World, that's what it is. Brave New World. Alright, as always, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, friends.